everyone, my name is Kathy Martin and I'm the creator of PreAlgebraTeachers.com. I just want to record a quick video for you today to show you how I teach adding and subtracting integers. So I wrote up here a, an easy way to help your students remember how to add integers. So it goes a little something like this. Same sign, add and keep, different sign, subtract. Keep the sign of the bigger value, then your answer will be exact. And when I say keep the sign of the bigger value, I want to just note that I'm talking about the bigger absolute value value. Absolute value value. <laughs> so that's a super easy way for your students to remember how to add integers, and I'll give you an example. So a quick example would be like, I'll give you two examples. Same sign, add and keep. So if we have negative three plus negative seven, they're both negatives. So since they are both negatives, all you're gonna do is you're gonna add three and seven, that will get you 10, and then you're going to keep the negative sign. So when we're talking about different signs, it looks a little like this. Two plus, actually, that's not a good example. So let's do two plus negative five. So if we have two plus negative five, they are different signs. One is positive and this one's negative. So since they are different signs, we are going to subtract. So we're gonna take five minus two and we're gonna get three. Now, technically, five, negative five is smaller than positive two, but the absolute value of negative five is going to be positive five, which is bigger than the absolute value of two. And since my absolute value of negative five is bigger and this is negative, my answer is going to be negative. Those are some quick examples of how I teach adding integers. And this is a super fun way to help these kids remember how to do it. Now, subtract. All you have to remember is these three letters. K-A-O. It is, stands for keep, add, opposite. So what the heck does that mean? So if you have something like this, where you have negative three minus negative seven. So you are going to keep your front number the same. So we're gonna keep this negative three. We are gonna change our subtract to an add, and then we're gonna take our negative seven and make it opposite. So it's gonna turn into positive seven. Now I can go back to my adding integer rule and decide is it same sign or is it different? Well, in this example, it's a different sign, so I'm gonna subtract. Seven minus three is four. The larger absolute value is gonna be seven, and seven's positive, so my answer is going to be positive four. I have made for you on the preagebteachers.com blog a super fun poster that you could put up with these same rules. If you're interested in checking it out, then go to preagebteachers.com, click on the blog, and search for adding and subtracting integers. The poster is free, you can print it out, and I hope that this video has helped you. I look forward to seeing you in the preagebteachers.com community. Bye!